Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Instructors Point. My name is Ishan Samani and today friends I will be discussing one important inter coding question that might come in your Wipro NLTS exam. So friends I have uh, given the Wipro NLTS exam and I have been selected in Wipro. So I be I will upload that video soon and uh, you can uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell icon so that you can get the updates as soon as we upload the video. So friends, there will be total of two questions, two coding questions in the Webinar LGS exam, of which one will be easier one and the other one will be a little bit of difficult, medium difficulty level. So let us discuss some of the expected questions that might come. So here we have a question: Ravi gets n numbers in an array. Write a Java program to take single digit even numbers in the array and make a number by combining those even numbers alone. So for example, if you have given this array, then the output should be 2, 4. Why 2, 4? Because here you can see that 2 and 4 are the even numbers which are less than 10. And if the element, is, if no element is found, then we have to simply print that single digit even number is not found in the array. And if the array size is less than 0, then we have to display invalid array size. So friends, uh, here is exa another example is also given. So let's start coding for this. So let's go to my uh, code editor. First of all, I will be importing uh, one of the class, scanner class, import java.util.scanner And now what I will do is uh, I will simply create a main method first of all public static void main string args so now what I will do is I will ask the user to enter the size of the array so for this I will be writing a print statement system dot out dot enter the size so let's take this in the variable named as an int and it was 2sc dot next int and now I have to check if n is less than 1 then simply print a statement as System dot out dot print ln and here we have to print invalid array size and return so that the program may not continue to execute. So now uh, we haven't ex imported the scanner class, I haven't created an object of the scanner class, so that's why it is showing error. Scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in. Yes, now it will not show an error. So now what I have to do is I have to take the uh, input in the array. So for this I will need an array int a is equals to new int and the size will be of n and I will be using the for loop for taking the input for i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus and I will have to take the input so I will adding all the elements in my array so a of i is equal to sc dot next int so this will take the input from the user and store it in the array so now what I have to do is I have to traverse through the array elements so for this I will be using another variable j for j is equal to 0 j is less than n and j plus plus and now what I have to do is I have to check uh, what are the numbers which are less than uh, 10 and what are the numbers which are greater than 10 so let's take a flag variable here flag is equal to 0 and here I will check if a of j is less than 10 then we have to do this in else part we have to do this so what we have to do in uh, if the number is less than 10 
we have to check that whether that number is positive or not so here i will write a condition that if a of j modulus 2 is equals to 0 that means the number is even so i have to print that number system dot out dot print ln or simply print and i will write a of j that's it and in the else part i will just write flag plus plus and uh, what i else i have to do is i have to also write uh, the flag plus plus value in here also so that because i have to print that if suppose there are no elements which are less than 10 and are even so i need to write another statement as given in the r question so you can see that here is given that if no not found then print single digit even numbers not from the array so we have to write this that's why i have written black plus plus here also and as well as here also so this is the main reason behind this so after this i will write a statement if flag is equals to n then what i have to do is i have to simply write a print statement let's me copy this from here and uh, i will write print ln here and i will write no element found simply no element found i am not writing all that stuff that is that was given in the question so that's it and uh, let me now run this program so run this program enter the size so let me enter the 5 as the size of the array and now i have to enter the 5 elements suppose 2 and then 7 then 15 and then 4 and then last element say 9 so our answer should be 24 so you can see that our answer is 24 but we have got no element found also so here i have to uh, write one condition if uh, mm, yes let me check what is the problem uh, so uh, if you can see that i have written this flag plus plus without an s block so that was the main problem so now it will work fine and i will not get no element found because it should not be displayed if we have got an answer so let's run it again and uh, let's run this file again and again i will be entering five numbers only so let me enter five and then i will enter two then i will enter nine then 15 then 24 and then say eight so you can see that we have got our answer as 28 now let's see if uh, some other test cases so let me enter again zero this time because you have to check that uh, whether it is showing uh, in binary size or not uh, let me check that whether it is uh, so you can see that in binary size we have got in binary size so now let's check another test case and for here i will enter 5 and then i will enter all the elements which are not which are less than 10 but are not even numbers so 7 9 1 5 3 so you can see that we have got our answer as no element found so friends you have seen that how easily we can solve such type of questions so friends i will be creating uh, some of the questions and i have uh, uh, find out uh, from the internet uh, only uh, these number of questions so i will be creating the video one by one and i will be uploading another video tomorrow so please subscribe to our channel and please do like this video and please do share our video so that we can create more and more such videos for you all and friends soon i will be uploading a uh, interview experience of my vipro and i have uploaded the tr interview experience now i will be uploading the complete tr plus hr round interview experience so please do like that, uh, please do watch that video whenever I will upload that. So that's all in this video. Thank you.